What about specific foods? In the book, you talk about green tea having this anti-cancer effect. And I'm curious if there's any others people can use preventatively to help, you know, again, stack the favor in their in their hand in a better way. Yeah, people um, have always looked for it. And the, the term was chemo prevention. And the idea was, is there something that can prevent cancer? There hasn't been a lot, actually. So green tea does have certain compounds. Most of the research was done in Japan, where they drink a lot of green tea. Um, and that's basically uh, what you know, the, the, that's basically the, the one compound where there was probably the most evidence, although it's still very sparse. Um, it's, it's uh, you know, the, the, the thing about green tea is that it has certain compounds that people say have been associated with less cancer. Um, the, when, you, when you think about it, the risk-reward ratio is skewed in terms of benefit because the risk of drinking green tea is almost zero. It's pretty well zero. Um, so if you drink more green tea, you're probably going to do a couple of things. One is you're going to be drinking less of the other stuff, which is fine if it's water, but not so fine if it's like soda or something, right? So, and then perhaps you might get a benefit of, of the, of the green tea itself. Um, but again, it's, it's when you look at all the, all the compounds, there's a lot of expensive stuff that people try to sell you to prevent cancer or, or keep cancer away. Most of that has less data than green tea, which is, you know, you could buy a box at Costco, you know, a hundred, <laughs> you know, tea bags for like 10 bucks or something like that. Right. As opposed to some of the more expensive stuff, which actually has a lot less data behind it. So the green tea is just interesting. Uh, one, because it's probably the, one of the better studied compounds. Two, it's widely available and it's cheap. And three, it basically has no risk as opposed to going out and buying, you know, a bottle of this really expensive thing that they tell you will prevent cancer and cost you like a hundred bucks. And you actually have no idea what's in it, right? At least when you go to wherever your grocery store and get green tea, you're almost certainly going to get green tea. If you enjoyed that clip, press here for the full episode. I'll see you over there. These studies have been replicated over and over and over for the last 30 years of attributable risk. And diet and obesity is that second huge bucket and nobody's talking about it.